And obviously, you're seeing what's going on with America, with Trump now. Finally, you know, the transition is taking place with Biden coming in with Kamala Harris. And we saw what happened at the Capitol. And I'm, I'm sure you saw that in um, uh, uh, in Israel on the news. But uh, who you did or you didn't? Yeah. Who concerned? I did, of course. And I saw the origin, the CNN and Fox and the others. What did you think about it? What were your thoughts on that? Well, I'm... Uh... It it made me it made me uh, very sad. What I saw. What what, what do you it think really, in the direction? It really made me and and look being being Israeli, and and I don't I don't hide the fact for for a moment that Israeli existence and Israeli security to a very large extent is dependent on. The U.S. I try to judge the events of the last few days through the prism of what is the what is the interest of of Israel in 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 this uh, development. And I'm sorry to say that uh, the first point that uh, hit me was that uh, America in the last few days has lost uh, its uh, its prime statue around the world. Israel, America, since the end of World War II, was the uh, the, the uh, lighthouse of of, demo- of democracy, of liberal democracy, of marketplace economy, of freedom, of equality to the rest of the world. America since the end of World War II to this day was the guarantor and the and the leader of, of, of the Western world. And after the events of, uh, of uh, the last two or three days, I, I don't see how American can convince its other allies around the world, and not to mention the uh, adversaries, that the uh, 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 best form of of regime is 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 democracy. Pick any any one leader among the among the uh, Khamenei and the uh, and the uh, Erdogan, or the guy in Brazil, or the, the guy in the Philippines, or the guy or the uh, the rulers of the of the of the Middle East. And can you argue and convince them that the that democracy is the is the preferable and the best? Um, uh, um, uh, uh, regime in order to in order to uh, to build the world to bring more harmony to build equality. What to, are you uh, suggesting? What do you what, what do you what are you suggesting? Is there a suggestion in that uh, statement of yours? Um, the, the, well, my I, I I by far more modest than uh, trying to uh, trying to define the uh, the future of the world. But I can tell you a few words about the. A, a, a possible eventual development in 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 the Middle East uh, regarding the situation in the Middle in the Middle East and in, in uh, the conflict between Israel and and the and the Palestinians. I believe that the uh, that the, the development which took place in recent weeks, namely the upgrade. Of relationship between Israel and the and the, some of the Emirates and uh, Morocco is 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 good news. is very is very important. Uh, it 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 first and foremost it transmitted a very strong signal to the Palestinians that listen, guys, we were supporting you since 1945 till today. 
but the world today is not what it used to be all in in the past and you have to reckon with with the changes that are taking place in the in the middle east now israel is not anymore our our enemy our enemy is extreme islam being represented mainly by iran who's pursuing a nuclear military capability this is the real threat now so you palestinians it's it's high time for you to uh, change your policy and 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 but there is there is an additional condition to uh, 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 to what i'm saying one is that uh, the president elect or the president uh, uh, the president biden should um, adopt a strategy that the us is not leaving the middle east and not only because of uh, israel and the palestinians because of many other reasons because of the because of the security of the of the world because the the russians are com- are competing with them because the chinese are competing with them because america need to go on leading the free world and 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 leading the free world it means to to have a uh, foot also in the in the middle east you should now bring in saudi arabia and and create a new axis of us leading saudi arabia israel egypt and jordan with which we have a, a peace already and the emirates vis-a-vis the threats of iran and turkey and within this framework the palestinian will will be in a position that whether they like it or not they'll have to change their attitude and 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 the and policy and to become a partner to a solution for the conflict with israel so if you like this little short clip from an interview i did click over here to watch the entire interview and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel take care everybody bye bye